Hi, good morning. My name is Pastor Iva Bowers, and we're in the Healing Gallery Ministry. And um, here, in the, here in the gallery is to we depict the life of Jesus and also the Old and New Testament. I'm a breast cancer survivor to begin with, and I was ill, and the Lord gave me this vision in a dream that he wanted me to tell the story of the Bible. And we are standing right here in the open Bible, and he started just giving me visions of the different stories that I needed to tell. And before I die, I'm supposed to tell the whole story of the Bible in these, in these fish tanks. And by him giving me the vision, um, he started telling me to start putting them in fish tanks and start going different places and collecting figurines. And some of these figurines, I've been collecting them for years, but not knowing why I'm collecting these. And all of a sudden, I started getting fish tanks, figurines, shrubbery, and all kinds of stuff. And here we are. We're in the gallery. So here... In the Old Testament, here we have, you know that God made Adam, and he made Eve also. And Eve, when God made Adam, he told him not to eat from the, this tree, and he, he was obedient. So when Eve came along, the serpent talked to Eve and said, oh, did God really tell you not to eat from that tree? So he enticed her, and she got a piece of ap uh, apple off the tree and bit it, and gave a piece to Adam, and they both ate it. So then they knew they were naked, and they covered themselves. And when God was walking through the cool of the day in the garden, he was calling for them, and they were hit it, and they said, no, we cannot come out because we're naked. God made clothes for them, and he kicked them out of the garden. And they could not come in again because he had a, an angel back there, and he also had the, the um, fire, the sword of fire because he cursed them. And he told the woman that she will bear kids by pain, and the man will earn money by the sweat of his eyebrows. Here we have Sarah and Abraham. Sarah and Abraham was promised a kid, but Sarah was impatient. So she went and used Hagar to have Ishmael, but God gave them their son, which is Isaac. And Sarah was 90 years when she had Isaac. And this, to me, this time gives people hope that want to have a baby. If God can do it for Sarah, he can do it for anyone. Here we have King Solomon and Queen of Sheba, that King Solomon, all he had, God asked him, what you want me to give you? And he said, I only want wisdom and knowledge to deal with the people. He didn't ask for riches, but he became the richest man ever lived. And here we have Daniel in the lion's den. Daniel prayed to God, and he was always praying to God. So one of the people saw him praying and went and told the king. And the king wanted everybody to pray to his God. And he got into the lion's den when he was thrown in there. And everybody else that didn't have faith, you notice that they're dead. But Daniel knew that he was even standing in front of God because God's voice rose like a lion. And the angel appeared and took the, just got him out of there. Here we have Moses when he was coming down the hill with the Ten Commandments. And he saw that the people were having all this party and build up all these gods and Moses took the Ten Commandments and threw it at them. He was gone for 40 days in front of the Lord while he was making those Ten Commandments. Here we have David. David was a shepherd boy who God chose to be a king because David would take care of his sheep and he killed a bear and he also killed a lion to protect his sheep. And he's the one that killed Goliath. He was a teenager when that happened, but he was anointed and God really anointed him to be the king, and he became King David. Okay, so let's go over here. As you know, the angel, the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and told her that she would be impregnated by the Holy Spirit. And here they're traveling, going to Jerusalem, where he, that's where he is accounted for with the census. So there they're traveling, and she's nine months pregnant. And from there, here they went. They're here where Jesus was born. Here we have Omen Simeon. The Lord um, promised Omen Simeon that he will see the Savior before he died. And he sent him to the temple court. And here he's holding Jesus. And he predicted in Jesus' life that he'll be lanced with a spear in his side. He was telling Mary and Joseph about that. And here we got Anna. She was a widow that lived in the temple. And she also prophesied in Jesus' life and said that he told, she told Mary that he was going to have a hard time. Here is where you have Joseph and Mary. They're fleeing because the angel came and woke them up and said, go a different route. Get up and go now. 
and they flee to Egypt. Here is Jesus when he came across. He ran into John the Baptist who baptized him and they were cousins. And then from his baptism, Jesus went into the wilderness where he was tempted by the devil for 40 days and 40 nights. So as he came out of the wilderness, he started gathering up his disciples and he said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Here we got Jesus walking in the water and Peter saw him and he came out of the boat and he started walking in the water towards Jesus. But when he took his eyes off of Jesus, he fell into the water. Here we have the lady in Samaria, the woman at the well where Jesus was talking to her and telling her all about her life and he was prophesying in her life. And he was asking her for water because he will give her the living water. But she said he didn't have nothing, a bucket nor nothing. How you want water and I don't have where to put it. But he was telling her that I can give you the living water. Here we have the lady with the issue of blood. That she has this issue of blood for 12 years. She was suffering and she went to the doctors. She went to the magicians. She went everywhere. And she had money, but her money was exhausted because... Nobody could heal her till she heard about that man named Jesus. And if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll become whole. And she did. She took a chance going into the crowd and touched the hem of his garment. And she was whole. Here's the transfiguration. When Jesus went up to the mountain with his, two, his three disciples, and Elijah appeared to him, and so did Moses. And a whole, a shiny cloud appeared. And Jesus was transfigured. His clothes was whiter, whiter than snow, than even Clorox. And his face was shining. And the Lord was speaking to them and telling them that this is his son. And he's well pleased with him. And they need to listen to what Jesus said. Jesus was in the boat with the disciples. And it started, he was sleeping. And the storm started coming. And the disciples were like, Master, Master, you don't care. We're going to die. We're going to die. But Jesus knew that they weren't going to die because he knew who he was. And if they had faith, they would know who they are too. So then here we have also Jesus healed the blind man. And the next tank that I built was, it was the triumphant entry. When Jesus knew he had to came, come back and he rode in to Jerusalem on the donkey. And then here we have the Last Supper where Jesus was getting ready to tell everyone that he was about to leave them. And he was telling his disciples that he was going to go and he was going to die. One of them was going to betray him. And everybody, me, master, me, master, don't go. And um, But Jesus said, the one that dipped after me is the one that's going to betray me. And Judas Iscariot was the one who dipped after him. And Jesus told him, go and do what you have to do. And Judas left. When he went to pray, after the Last Supper, he went to pray in the Garden of Gethsemane. There he's praying. Um, Judas brought the, the, the um, soldiers into the Garden of Gethsemane. They took Jesus to um, Pontius Pilate. So then here, they're beating Jesus. He's carrying the cross for us. All our burdens and all our suffering, he walked that highway by himself where he was going to be crucified. And here he is being crucified. Jesus is here on the cross with the two thieves. And at, at that, there was a point there where Jesus said, Father, Father, why do forsaken me? And then he gave up his ghost. And then from there, they, um, Jesus died, as we know he died. And um, Mary got a little chance to spend time with her son. So then from there, Jesus was buried. And the angel came and opened up the tomb. And Jesus came out and run into Mary Magdalene. And he said, don't touch me. I've not ascended to my father yet. And Jesus walked and he told her to go and tell the disciples that he has resurrected. And here is where he's ascending, where he went to heaven. It's here, right here is when Jesus is coming back with all the angels and we come back to as judgment time when he comes back. And this is the day that we're all are waiting for the second coming of Jesus.